Hello everyone, welcome to our special techno channel. In the previous session, we examined the demo menu and its modules in detail. In this session, we will introduce various types of filters with a particular focus on examining comparison operators in detail. For more information, watch the rest of this video. Filtering Filtering allows the selection of features that satisfy a specific set of conditions. Filters can be used in several contexts in Joe server. In WMS request, to select which features should be displayed on a map. In WFS request, to specify the features to be returned. In SLD documents, to apply different symbolization to features on a thematic map. Supported filter language. Data filtering in Joe server is based on a concept introduced in the OGC filter encoding specification. This specification is a standard format for encoding special and non-special filter expressions in GIS. It defines an XML schema for representing various filter types such as special, attribute, and temporal filters and enables customized queries to retrieve specific sets of data from database and web services. Additionally, this specification ensures interoperability among GIS applications and facilitates the development of Joe special data compatible software. Joe server accepts filter encoded in two different languages: filter encoding language and common query language. Filter encoding language. The filter encoding language is defined by the OGC filter encoding standard which uses an XML-based syntax. Filters are used to select the specific features from the context in which they are evaluated. They are similar in functionality to the where clause in SQL. A filter includes a condition which can be a single predicate element or a combination of conditions using logical operators. The condition is expressed through comparison operators, special operators, or a combination of both by using logical operators. Predicates are expressions that evaluate relationships between values and produce Boolean results. The operators are used to compare the properties of the filtered features with those properties of other features. During the rest of this session, we will delve deeper into the various types of comparison operators. Common Query Language Common Query Language, or CQL, is a language used in Joe server for constructing filters and queries on Joe special data. It provides flexible and powerful options for filtering and retrieving a specific subset of data from Joe server layers. In the upcoming sessions, we will dive into a detailed exploration of CQL covering its various operations and practical usage. Now let's discuss the comparison operators. Comparison operators. These operators are part of filter encoding operators and are used in attribute-based queries to filter and retrieve specific features or data based on their non-special attributes. The comparison operators include binary comparison operators and value comparison operators. The binary comparison operators are These operators contain two filter operations to be compared. The first operand is often a property name, but both operands may be any expression, function, or literal value. Binary comparison operator elements may include an optional match case attribute with the true or false value. The default value is true, but the comparisons don't check the case if the attribute has a false value. Remember that the string comparisons are case sensitive. Property is equal to it's a common type of filter used in Joe server, which allows you to retrieve features from a data source based on the values of one or more properties. As an example of using this filter in WFS get feature request, navigate to the demos page, then select demo requests. From the request section, select the WFS get feature 1.0.xml request. The address will be filled in automatically in the URL section. Now let's edit the codes as you see on the screen. Click the Submit button. You can see the filtered features on the screen. 
Now we will explain some elements. The first line describes the XML version and the get feature operations of the WFS service being used. Line 2 specifies the default output format for the WFS service as GML2. Additionally, Java server supports several other commonly used formats such as GML3, Shapefile, JavaJSON, and CSV. Lines 3 to 8 define the start of the XML request and declare the namespaces using the request. Line 9 specifies the type name of the feature to be queried. In this case, it requests features of the top column states. Lines 10 to 15 defines the filter criteria for the query. On these lines, we use the property is equal to filter to retrieve all features where the state name attribute is equal to deliver. Remember that the match case attribute in WFS get feature 1.1 and 2.0 versions can be set to false to specify a case insensitive comparison. Now let's edit it. Click the Submit button again to see the implemented change. If you are enjoying the video, I would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel, like the videos and share it with your friends. This will help you and others to improve your skills and benefit from these valuable resources. Thank you for your support. Property is not equal to Property is not equal to is another common type of filter used in Joe server which allows you to retrieve features from a data source based on properties that don't match a specified value. An example of using this filter in a WFSK feature request is Click the submit button. In this example, we are using the properties not equal to filter to retrieve all features where the state and the line name attribute is not equal to deliver. Property is less than. The property is less than operator in Joe server is used to filter features based on a comparison of a numeric property with a given value. It returns all features where the specified property is less than the specified value. An example of using this filter in a WFS get feature request is Click the Submit button. In this example, we use the properties less than filter to get all features in a shape or format where the value of the state on the line FIPS attribute is less than 18. The query only retrieves the state on the line name and land on the like km fields instead of all the attributes. Property is greater than or equal to. 
This operator is similar to the previous filter, except that if the specified attribute is greater than or equal to the specified value, it returns corresponding attributes. To see how to use this filter in version 2 of the WFS get feature request, just follow these steps displayed on the screen. Click the Submit button. In this example, we use the property is greater than or equal to filter to get all features in CSV format where the value of the cat attribute is greater than or equal to 64. In this session, we have explored binary comparison operators in detail. If you would like to gain proficiency in Joe server software from beginner to advanced without any cost, please subscribe to my channel, watch the videos and share them with your friends. Also, if you'd like to know more information about demo menu and its modules, we recommend you to watch the suggested video. Have a great time!